This is going to be a quick lesson about one little knot. The IO box color. This can be used to create a color that can later be used to color a quad, a segment, a pillow, or whatever you can think of you want to render in your renderer. Or you can send this color to some hardware like an RGB LED. Well, first things first. The default color is always this ugly green. I don't know why, it just is. The letters you read here, HSVA, stand for UV, Saturation, Value and Alpha. The UV is the overall color, the saturation is the amount of white, the V stands for value, and that is the amount of darkness or black, and the A stands for alpha or transparency. In VVVV we always use the letter A to describe transparency or alpha. UV, saturation, value is just one of the methods you can use to generate or to describe a color. The values you see with these letters are always between 0 and 1. If I right click on this IO box color and I drag up or down, I can change the value or the darkness. And if I right click and hold my right mouse button and press to the left or the right, I can change the UV value. And the UV is just all the colors of the rainbow. And when I hold down my control key and then I drag up or down, I can change the saturation or the amount of white, so I can make a very nice pale blue color. And finally, when I hold my shift key and move up or down, I can change the alpha value or the transparency. Learning these short keys is almost essentially to quickly create some color. So just remember to right click and drag up or down and your shift and control key. Okay, let's look at her inspector for this node. Well, you got your slice count mode, your columns, your rows, your pages, and they are just like the IO box value advanced. And so is the slice index, the font size, and the show grid stuff. Like values, colors can also be handled like spreads. So if I set my columns count to 2, and my row count to 2, and then change the slice count mode to calls across pages, I see now 4 slices of color. But this tutorial is about colors and not about spreads. So let me start again, I select this node and hit the delete key. Let's make a new one. I double right click and select color and now I got my IO box color. The thing I wanted to show is the chooser style pin. If I right click here, we see the three modes. That is HSVA fields, RGBA slider and HSVA slider. The two slider options can be used if you want to generate a color but don't want to use any keyboard shortcuts. Colors you output are exactly the same in any of these modes so that doesn't really matter. It is just a different method of inputting your color. Now let's select the RGB slider. Another way to describe color is by RGB values. And RGB stands for red, green and blue. The pixels on your computer screen are generated by mixing red, green and blue light. Now instead of one color we now see these five colored IO boxes. The first one you see here is the actual output color. This color is generated by mixing the red, green and blue color. Now in this mode RGBA slider the four boxes containing a value are sliders. So I can right click on the red box, keep my mouse pressed and then I move up to add it more red. And you see red and green mixed together gives a yellow color. So I can remove the green, right click drag down or I can add some blue, right click drag up and now I've got this nice purple tint. The values of this IO box color are always stick between 0 and 1. The alpha value is represented by this white color. If I right click and drag down, it gets gray and then it gets black. An alpha value of zero or a black color means it's totally transparent. So if I put this color on a quad, the quad would be transparent too and it doesn't matter if it's purple or, or white. So using this way I can mix any color I want to. By just adding more green, more blue or less red or whatever. Now the cool part about this RGBA slider is that it can be very precise because if I double left click on a color I can just type in a value. If I type in 1 and then I press enter you will see that the red color is now set to 1. If I double click on the green and hit 0 and then press enter you see all the green is removed and I'm left with a lot of red and a bit of blue. It gives me this KD pink color. I can also type in an alpha value 0.5, enter, and now it's semi-transparent. The other mode in chooser style, I right click, is HSVA slider and it works exactly the same like the RGBA slider, 
only this is UV, this is saturation, this is value, and this again is alpha. So I can change the UV color by right clicking and dragging, or I can just double left click and type in a value and hit enter. Mm -hmm. So the slider method is more precise than the default field method. Okay, let's delete this and make yet another IO box color. So I right click, select color. I'm going to put it on calls rows pages, make it two columns, two rows, and I set the choose style to RGBA slider. I might want to show the grid and make it a bit bigger so I can see the individual colors. Okay, let's make some colors. Uh, I make a nice yellow, so that's red and green and now blue pure blue so i increase the blue and i drag down the green and i got a nice blue or perhaps a nice aqua tint that's green and blue or let's see if i can make a gray a gray color has got the same amount of red green and blue now it can take ages for me to do this with a slider so i just double left click and type in the same values for my red my green and my blue. Now for now I just ignore the alpha colors because you will not see them anyway. So now I just make another IO box color. I right click color and put the columns to two and the rows to two and I make it a bit bigger. If I now connect this IO box color to this IO box color, you see they both have the same colors. The only difference is this one is describing the UV saturation value alpha and this one is describing the RGB colors. In the next tutorial I will try to demonstrate some more color related nodes. So I will show you how to make a color spread or make a slowly changing color. And I also show you more ways to put colors inside these IO boxes.